So Rick Steves, what a treat. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm happy to be here. There's nowhere else to go. <laughs> so what have you been doing during your quarantine time? I'm lucky I've got lots of work to do. We've still got 100 people on our staff. Hi, I'm Rick Steves, back with more of the best of Europe. And uh, we're producing our TV shows and our guidebooks and organizing our tours and, uh, you know, trying to hold it together and hoping to still have a company when we come out of this uh, crisis. When did your love for traveling start? I never really cared about Europe. And when I was, a, you know, when, just a kid here at Edmonds uh, High School and uh, uh, one day my dad, who was a piano tuner, came home and said, son, we're going to Germany to see the piano factories. And I, I realized that's not bad. So I vowed to go back to Europe every year, and I have. I thought if I could just package the lessons from those mistakes into a, a book or a talk or whatever, other people could learn from my mistakes rather than their own, have a better trip. So that's what I've been doing ever since uh, I was a kid. How many times do you think you have traveled to Europe since that original trip as a team? I don't know how many times I've been, but since 1980, when I wrote my first guidebook, I've been taking this mission seriously. Well, taking it way back to when you kind of originally started going to Europe, I read that you wrote some postcards, had some postcards, and we asked you to dig them out, and you did. Well, I've got piles of these postcards. My Back in the old days, before the internet, you know, my parents were worried about where would I be, and my they said, write a postcard every day. These are from 1975. And uh, it's just, um, if I look through these, uh, I've got, I can see the, the traveling spirit of a little kid that's just getting out there and realizing this world is filled with fascinating people and wonderful experiences. This was from when I was in Greece, uh, slumming around. And uh, on that same trip, I, I, I remember going to a, a nude beach and, and learning how skin that has never seen the sunshine is very tender. And <laughs> I also got one of my journals. Every year I wrote a journal. This is Europe, 1975. <laughs> that is so cool that you have that. I mean, I love that. How, what a treasure. It is a treasure. Wow. Your, those were the Europe through the gutter days before I, I dreamed up Europe through the back door. Well, one thing that's really been helping me personally get through this time is your daily dose of Europe. We've written this book called For the Love of Europe, which is my 100 favorite experiences in 100 essays. And it'll be out in early July. We decided to serialize that book. And on, on my um, uh, Facebook page and on, on, my, on my website at ricksteves.com, I read through those articles and I read the comments from people and it's just a wonderful community. When this is finally lit over and we're able to travel again, where is Rick Steves going? The big disappointment for me was um, um, I had a planned a, a best of Europe three week trip with the family as my son would be guiding and I would be actually on vacation on a Rick Steves tour with, with all of these wonderful friends and family. And I had to cancel that. We're gonna do it again next year, God willing. Where's the tour gonna go? Starts in Amsterdam goes down the Rhine River, into Bavaria to see the famous castles, over the Alps, to Venice, Florence, Rome, uh, what we call a vacation from our vacation on the Italian Riviera, the Cinque Terre. And we finish with a finale in the capital of Europe, and that's Paris. Well, I think that that's a beautiful idea. And speaking of Bavaria or the Alps, I don't know if this came from there, but I, I know you have a hat on hand that I think we need to see. <laughs> Uh, you know, I haven't hardly, I, I've never showed this to anybody, really. My goofy hat. When I was a kid, um, what, uh, 14 years old, my dad and I had a competition. And back then, people would buy a hat and they would fill it with these beautiful little pins. But I look at this and it brings back some memories. And uh, it reminds me, I was a dorky little traveler a long time ago. <laughs> and I still am. <laughs> For folks that are kind of feeling dejected right now, what can we do now to prepare ourselves for travel, hopefully in the near future. If you have a trip coming up in the next uh, one year or the next five years or the next 10 years, it, uh, it is good investment of time and energy right now to reach out and enjoy the art, uh, get to know the history, um, get to know the cuisine. Thank you so much for sharing your passion. Happy travels, even if we're just staying home for a little while. <laughs>